Hey, it's Hannah. I had no motivation to film video for like the past two weeks, but now that I'm out of town and I should be sleeping, here we go. We're recording a video. If you're too ratchet to make a put together video, then make the most ratchet videos. One of the many things I've been doing in my two week break was finishing this beautiful mural, and I got almost no footage of it because I was filming with another person. And whenever I started the endeavor, I didn't revive my YouTube channel because it took a solid five months. So here's some footage of me doing my most recent digital piece, which is mostly just me struggling to sprinkles, but we're not going to talk about that. So first, let's get rid of a couple misconceptions about painting a mural. Number one, it is pretty unrealistic to try to do it in like a couple days like those YouTubers do because realistically, paint takes a while to dry. And also those YouTubers have full days to dedicate to the mural, which is not realistic for most people who are doing a mural. So a little bit of context about the mural is before COVID, I worked in the Sunday school and this was done in the nursery. And I went to that church my whole entire life, so that is how I got the opportunity to do the mural. It can be super different for whatever type of mural you want to endeavor, if that's something on your wall or something for a church. It really does depend. So I really cannot help you get a opportunity to paint a mural, especially if it's not in your house or in a place where someone you know lives. The first thing is first when you're starting a mural, know that it is a time commitment. This one took about 23 hours give or take, which also this was a lot more simple than some of the other mural designs because of my style, which actually was the reason why mine got chosen because it was actually out of two designs and literally the only reason why mine got chosen was because of a nursery setting and also because it was a lot easier to paint. So how our process started was by making a bunch of sketches and originally it was going to be a solo project, but then the other person came and she was the one who actually decided which idea to do out of the ideas I already sketched out. So the amount of hours you put in can be a little bit different depending on if you're planning or if you're helping. So after we finished our sketches, we painted it on a pretty big canvas, which was actually the biggest canvas I'd ever done. I think it's 17 by 24, but I don't know because I'm like six hours away from the canvas. And after we did the canvas sketch, since we were doing it on another wall, they actually chose which design got chosen, which I'm a perfectionist and a quote control freak. So I'm really glad that mine got chosen because I'm that one person in the group project who divides the work, but then ends up doing most of the work because they're so much of a perfectionist. So luckily my partner was very on board with me being a little bit quote controlling. However, it was a lot towards the shading is kind of where her style more of took effect because the shading was a lot more complex than what I normally do because it was a bigger surface. And I love her. She's the best. She was my only interaction with someone my age for a pretty long time because of quarantine, which obviously we were being safe as you should too. Something that helped us a lot was having a lot of colors that were in the tube. Like the only big amount of color that we did not have in the tube that we had to custom mix was the sand and that was probably the hardest part. So definitely base your colors around what's in a tube, especially if you're doing such a large chunk of color because mixing colors are annoying and you're probably gonna need multiple layers. I noticed kind of in an hour, an hour and a half was the best sweet spot for where you could do a lot but then also you weren't like blocked by the paint by how much you can do and just sitting there waiting for paint to dry this is about time that i should mention that it's very monotonous and you probably need like a podcast or another person or a really good bot playlist because it's going to take forever but eventually you'll get done and hopefully you'll have a beautiful result and i don't really know how to end this so here's the final artwork of what i did Hey, 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 if you finished the video, that means you kind of like me, so you should go, like, follow my Instagram stuff and like, sign account, don't forget to tell your friends. Bye!